Hello, friends. Uh, this is Dane. Just a quick little uh, disclaimer before the episode starts. Um, we get pretty heavy into Game of Thrones spoilers towards the end. If you haven't seen it or if you care about these things, uh, maybe maybe stop the episode once we get to the question about Amelia Clark. Um, if you don't care, uh, then, you know, listen to the whole thing. Um, we just wanted to make sure that we didn't spoil anything in case you guys have been actively avoiding spoilers. Uh, we do... We do spoil pretty much everything. Um, anyway, here's the episode. Uh, hello, friends. My name is Dane Miller. And I'm Nas Payne. And we are your fuck buddies. We are. And we're imminently waiting a surprise sealed message question from one of our users. That's pretty exciting. I know. Uh, also, happy Pride. Happy Pride. It's Pride Month. Pride, Pride Month, yeah. yeah. Um, so to all of our LGBT plus listeners. And allies. And allies. And like Basically everyone, anyone who's really? not a shithead. Yeah, anyone happy who's not a piece pride. of shit. Yeah. Happy Pride. And if you are a piece of shit... Happy Pride, fuck anyway, off. Yeah. Well, happy Pride, yeah, but like, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe this will be the, the year that you realize that everyone is just people. Yeah, and it doesn't fucking affect you, so get over it. Yeah, calm the fuck down. You want to fucking go? <laughs> we'll fight you right I there. Will, I will throw this heavy microphone at you. It's pretty oh, heavy, oh, actually. Oh, cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, shit! Ah, the power of Pride made me forget to drink. Uh, th- that's opposite of what the Pride <laughs> spirit is all about. Um... We're a dating and sex advice podcast where we take your sticky, sexy situations and turn them into sexy, sexy sticky situations. situations. You haven't fucked that up in like 20 episodes. I didn't say it last week. To be fair, I, I don't know what I said last week. <laughs> yeah. I oh, also said that it was episode well? 35 and it was, like it was episode 36. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of shit. Yeah, Dane was high as fuck last week in case I'm you pretty sure tell. I sung a slave hymn, which probably isn't cool. There's a, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know. Did you put that on the... Oh, it's in there. Okay, well... Uh, because I'm literally singing it over the things that you're saying. Yeah. So. Dane was, like, loopy as fuck. Can we just get you on that every week? Yeah, sure. Okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah let's do as it. long as someone's buying my extra strength fucking cold meds. Okay, so I just arrived. Do you want to pop out right now? Mm-hmm. Right now? Mm-hmm. You can do it first? Yeah. Okay, so thank you for the sealed question. This is Agent Vivaldi. Ooh. And they say, oh. <laughs> have you ever heard, have you ever heard the term man pussy? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. yes. The you know, butthole, even right? better, uh, I was on the streetcar the other day, and somebody kept yelling about uh, about like bussies. They were like, "Yeah, my bussy, it's so ready." Like, my bussy's just, like, going. And one girl was like, stop saying it. Stop saying it. And the other girl was like, yeah, the B in Belinda stands for bussy. And she was like, no, it doesn't. Oh, I have to change my name. And then, like, the two people who were yelling about bussies got up. And someone was like, oh, my God, are you guys furries? And they're like, yeah, I'm a fucking unicorn. And, like, ran off the streetcar. And they were wearing, like, furry tails. And I was like, what just happened? One of the girls who was also in the group uh, was, and I quote, said, yeah, I used to be really Christian, but I love dick too much. Same. There's a lot to unpack in that little anecdote. It was wild. One, who the fuck is named Belinda? I, mm, a few people. No. No one is named Belinda. The only people who are named Belinda gonna, are like... You're going to alienate all of our Our Belinda audience. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's weird. I, I posted a picture on Instagram wearing a bear head. The furry spirit was out yesterday. It's true, yeah. Also, uh, he does follow up with... Uh, when he was sleeping with a guy, he started referring to my ass as a pussy and as a man pussy. How would you feel if a woman referred to your ass as your man pussy? Um, I think I'd laugh my ass off. I'm, yeah. My, I'd, I'm sorry, I'd laugh my man pussy off. Um, I'm assuming Vivaldi is a gay man? Yes. Or at least... Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I think it's I think it's weird to fetishize the sexual organ that you're not... I don't know. It seems strange to me. Like I'm, I'm sure it's like nothing. I think it's, it's I, I don't more think of it, like a yeah. A I don't think you're actually really likening it to a, yeah. like lady parts. Like even though it is the you know, but it's, it's a weird. term you know. use. But I think it's it's not like to you're going, like yeah. It's like a lady. Fuck you're just your pussy. I think it's more just the 
you know, the because action it's something of... that you can insert your dick yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But yes, man pussy, 100%. Heard the term. But I do prefer bussy because it's hilarious. I don't like any of it. Yeah. Well, this does tie into another user question who, it's not really sex or dating advice, but they want to know if either of us would use a butt plug if our girlfriends asked us to. I don't think I... I mean, it would it would take a lot of convincing. Mm. Just because, like, I don't know. Yeah, see, I it's, don't... It's not a sensation that I'm craving. Yeah. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't enjoy it. I mm. don't know how it's going to pan out, but, like, just... I mean, like, I've had a prostate exam. Let me tell you. It's the fucking worst. I it's, haven't. Should I? I don't need them till I'm like forty, right? No, it was. It was more of a like I hadn't had like a physical since I was. I've never had a physical. Like sixteen, you should probably do that. We don't do them in Ireland. They um, cost money. <laughs> well, they don't here. Yeah, I know. You can literally walk but, like, into. What do you any... do? Do you just go? Hey, I want a physical. Yeah. Oh. Um. I don't yeah. Like, know I, how ravaged my body is. I had to. I had to get one done before going. Like I. Going to college, so yeah, I got it when I was sixteen. Oh, back to this um, fucking fantasy orphan going on. But high it was school. it was more of a like a, a physical check to make sure that I wasn't going to die in like dance class and stupid bullshit like that. Um, and then I haven't had a physical since, so I got one done on my thirtieth birthday, okay. or like my when I turned thirty, because I was like, I think I'll I should, just wait. I'll wait till then. I mean, it's it's not a bad idea. Like, chances are, it, like physicals aren't really one of those things that like at our age, are going to discover anything. It was you more... Don't know? Well, I know. It was more for, like, my own peace of mind. No, like, I, I I just never went to a doctor, like, ever. Yeah, no, it's smart to get them. Um, um, here's our advice to Nile fiction. Go get one. Yeah, what was the question? Uh, would you use oh, the a butt plug if your girlfriend really wants Yeah, to I don't know. Do they just, like, I think I... Because I'm not uh, receptive to it, I think the, the insertion of it would be mm. on an equivalent level of a doctor... Sticking a latex glove up my ass? Yeah, I also do feel like, because uh, as far as I'm aware, you don't really do self-butt stuff, so, like, it would be a bit of a leap to just be, like, from nothing to just, like, butt plug. Yeah. You'd probably have to warm up for it for a while. Yeah, there would need to be, like, some ass play, like, mm-hmm. leading up to it, like, a finger here and there. Yeah. But even then, like, every now and then Amanda jokingly, like, pretends, and, like, let me tell you, I tense up. <laughs> so, like, I don't think, I don't think there's any sort of situation where I'd be, like... All right, I'm ready for this. Yeah. But yeah. again, I, I, I'm I pretty much on the same level as you, or like, not something I necessarily want to do, but I do think if my partner was like just super into it, probably, you know. I don't I know. I think that might be have been receptive. I think but, that would be one of the, one of my like things, just being like, I don't really want anything in my ass. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't, but at the same time, I don't know if I, I'm so adverse to it that if they really wanted to, I'd just be flat out saying no. Yeah. That's but, fair. Yeah. I don't know. I've never really had anybody who's been like, into that I had one person like and it was really funny because it was a complete joke Uh, me and one of my friends were talking it was like this whole long story where like he had said a bunch of stories back in high school that were very clearly like not true Um, and everybody at the time believed some believed didn't believe others and then like later on as we kind of grew up and like we all kind of like knew they were bullshit but never really called him out on it and he knew we knew and we knew he knew and it was all just like this kind of funny situation. So at one point, someone like made like joking reference to one of his, which was that he had basically gotten a anal exam from a nurse and like come during it or something. Uh, the nurse's name was Crystal, of course. Um, and we were like making a joke about it and like kind of being like, oh yeah, well it's uh, like, I forget what we were saying. But it was like, we were all just being like, oh yeah, that definitely happened. And he was like, yep. Like wink, wink. And we were just like joking, but I guess she had heard this conversation, did not understand any of the context and thought that, like, everyone was out getting their butt fingered but us in our relationship. And, like, it was kind of sweet because she, like, then was like, oh, no, I have to go do this. But it would have been sweeter if she'd, one, warned me, two, not just tentatively, like, jabbed up my butthole, and three, maybe, like, used a bit of lube or something. We're in Edinburgh. It's this really nice night. We're at our hotel. There's fireworks going off. We're just having, like, a little nap before heading out for dinner. And then just, like, just a fucking shy finger just jabbing the butt. I'm like, God! She had to explain. It was pretty funny, but that's pretty much my experience of self butt play. Yeah, I feel like that would. Yeah, no, no, it wasn't I, fun. No, uh, to answer that question, I, I don't think I would partake. Yeah, I mean, if if that's your thing, go for it, but not yeah. for me. No, yeah. I don't know. I'm like on the fence. I've already said that. Like, I'm mostly adverse to blood stuff. Yeah, again, like I'm not particularly into it, but if somebody was just so into it, I could maybe be convinced. We'll yeah. see.
Yeah, that's not really a sexually taking advice question, though, but thank you, Agent Cutlery. Agent what? Cutlery. Cutlery. Okay. Yeah, why not? So this comes from, this This was their name, not mine, Agent Dumbo Drop. And uh, the question is, my stomach is cock blocking me. I have a really bad stomach when it comes to digestion. So wait, eating... this is a user? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and eating pretty much anything gives me tremendous uh, gastro- gastronomical distress. Best case, it's eye water and gas. Worst case, it's bathroom burning diarrhea. Uh, it wasn't a big deal when I was dating around because we mostly went for drinks. But recently, I've started seeing the same girl more frequently. And to further torture me, she's a foodie. Uh, we go to eat a lot. After pretty much every meal, I've got an hour before my stomach turns on me and condemns me to an evening of frequent and offensive trips to the bathroom. We went back to her house on our first date, and I did unspeakable things to her toilet before coming up with an excuse to go home. I thought that was the end of it, but she invited me to dinner uh, a few nights after, which uh, I went home alone afterwards. How do I maintain a sexual relationship when the only action my body wants to do is violently expel waste from my ass? Okay. Um, Many things. Many things here. Uh, Firstly, I can't imagine it's just any food. There's got to be some trigger. 100% you are like, allergic to something. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not normal. If yeah. it's just I eat and then my stomach hates me, like, you could be lactose, gluten, like, nut, allergy, dairy, like, spicy food, like a yeah. certain... There's something there, I would imagine. And if it's affecting your life this much, like, I would go get an allergy test because... Well, I mean, this... That sounds I horrendous. took this question because this is literally what happened to me, like, a couple years ago when my stomach was just horrible like absolutely fucking terrible Mm -hmm. and um i did a i did an elimination diet because like i went to the doctor because i was like okay there's something is seriously wrong and the doctor was just like well like biologically you're fine like there's there's nothing going on because biologically you're fine um because i thought like i was like convinced it was like stomach cancer i think it's really like intestinal cancer or something like that professional of them to just chat you up at the moment of distress like that i mean to be fair biologically you're fine. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Um, so I did an elimination diet and found out I was um, lactose intolerant. And that was like my my thing was just like the sheer amount of cheese and dairy I was eating was just wreaking havoc on my intestines. Um, and I've been like dairy free for two years. Bar- two weeks ago. No. Yeah. Well. Um, and uh, like for the most part, I'm fine. Hmm. The only time, like, my stomach ever really gives me trouble now is after a night of drinking a lot of beer. Yeah, which is... But I think that's at least, everyone. At least that, like, that's the thing. That's, if you have a thing, like, if your stomach is fucking ravaged, but you're like, yeah, it's because I drank a shit ton yesterday. Maybe don't do it all the time, but at least it's okay because you know why it's happening. Yeah. It doesn't sound like this person knows why it's happening, so... And also, it, it's affecting their life quite a bit, so mm-hmm. I feel like that's one of those things you need to sort out. Um, aside from that... One, carry, like, air freshener around with you in your bag or somewhere because, like, that's the fear. Like, you don't want to go, like, you go and you fucking tear up their bathroom. Once they don't hear you, yeah. it's probably fine. And if they do, you can do, like, cunning tap acrobatics or something, right? Or, like, the old, like, sneezing. Yeah, wall, yeah. Comes but like, you! <laughs> um, you know, or, like, if you know you just got that one big explosion and you flush the toilet while you shit. And then just, you got very limited time frame because you don't want to do that second flush, right? Um, or if you do, just be like, huh, didn't work the first time. But you don't want to leave a, re- a re- like a fucking stinky bathroom. So if you can bring like a spray with you, do. You know what I mean? That's pretty essential. If not, turn the tap on really hot. So it gets like, steam. and then you put some See, fucking I think, soap I think in there. Match. And then the soap and the steam comes up and that's almost like you get the fragrance of soap in the air. Yeah. I've had diary on dates before. I think we all have. Yeah. Um, yeah, carrying a, a book of matches isn't a bad uh, idea because yeah. they, they're odor neutralizing. I mean, it's That's... it's a little obvious, mm-hmm. but I mean, like, so is an aerosol can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. Any, yeah. any sort think... of, like, scent reduction. Yeah, I, I unless can't imagine. come up with something crazy that you have, like, you just... Oh, put, like, a butt filter. Like, crack a little stick and, like, all of a sudden the poop smells go away. Yeah. Um, um, I Yeah, I really don't think anybody's going to go into the bathroom and be like, oh, it smells nice in here. It must have smelled bad. What not? Like, nobody's going to care, right? Like, and if except, they do, you don't want to never date actually. Them. It just, no, it just, it makes just smells like, like flowery poo. Yeah, it smells like someone just took a shit in potpourri. Although, another thing, don't spray it in the air. Spray it in the toilet bowl. Mm. You can get the source. You don't just fucking put it in the air. 
so yeah, and no one's gonna care if you've masked the smell, even if they know you've masked it. Whatever, like people shit. And again, if someone has a problem with that, you probably don't want to date them anyway. Like if if at baseline level they're like this guy pooped and it was smelly, even though it's not an issue now, I have an issue with it. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Um, but I do I do understand if like if every date no I hear you this guy just went to your like bathroom multiple times mm-hmm. during the evening and just fucking unleashed unholy hell oh no I get you like I've been on dates where like the worst is when like their room is like right beside the toilet mm-hmm. and the walls are not quite big enough and you're like fuck so what do I do when I first started dating Amanda she lived in like a townhouse and she was on the top floor mm-hmm. but the bathroom like there was, there's right two bathrooms there's one in the living room so I'd mm-hmm. have to go all the way downstairs and like they were all bartenders and servers who like were up all the yeah. fucking time um, or the other bathroom was directly across and beside her two roommates mm-hmm. so like I was yeah. kind of fucked either way unless yeah. it was like really late at night when I could like go down to the like mm-hmm. the furthest bathroom but yeah. like like even if you went to the like like the further one, they'd be like, "What are you doing?" There's one right there, and you're like, mm, "Yeah, dude, let's just talk about my bad poops. Mm-hmm. I got to uh, done do some dirts." It's uh, it's it was so bad. And yeah, like, I was always like so anxious staying over to her place because I was just like, "Oh man, if this hits, if this hits me." Yeah, and that's like I get it. it there's it's one of those nerve wracking things. Um, you know, I I don't know if anyone I've ever dated has felt that way around me. Because I've never had an issue with anyone doing that. Like, I've n- never been like, they've gone to the bathroom too much, or this smells. But, like, I don't think I'd care. You know what I mean? No, I mean... So, I would hope that no one would care if you did it. You yeah. know what I mean? But I d- totally get the fear. Um, but I do think, cover your ass. Literally. Like, make sure you have something that you... Because the worst case is that you just do something so bad that it creeps out of the bathroom and, like, down the hallway or into the room or something. Yeah. Uh, so, you need one uh, some way to negate that. Um, try not to be loud by doing the old extended sneeze, tap, or <laughs> bathroom flush method. Uh, or, like, get them to put on music when you leave the room. Be like, oh, you, while well, I'm going, listen to the song. It's so great. Got yeah. them. Nailed it. Um, the gas? Yeah. You I gotta... Mean, that's, that's literally... You gotta figure out what's causing this, because... Yeah. Because, like, you can't just keep farting on their room, and you can't just keep leaving every time you need to fart. And yeah. if you hold it in, that's gonna suck. Or you'll release it at an inopportune time, like yeah. during sex. Yep. Or, like, she'll tickle you, or, like, uh, just grab your balls and you'll... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, if it's... And that's like a nightmare. If it's that repressed, you might just shit yourself. <laughs> There's no, <laughs> no coming back from that. No, no, I think... Yeah, so... Is there, like, is there medicine you can, like, emodium There's... or whatever? Because that, that delays it. It's like you can pop on the bus ride. Yeah, I mean, And it'll, like, like, stop you from pooping for a little bit. And there's, like, Pepto... Bismol, mm-hmm. which will like will help. There's uh, you can get those like dairy pills, which is what I had when I went to New Orleans because mm-hmm. I was like, there is no goddamn way I'm not eating every fucking thing in this place. Well, yeah, that's and the it's thing, all but French cuisine, so it's like you're gonna all need to butter. narrow it down to figure that out first, right? Yeah, I would. I'm gonna I'm gonna wager pretty hard that it's it's probably dairy or wheat, yeah. um, because those tend to be the two like yeah, but they're big. trendy, so. I- you everybody, don't, you don't want to be an allergy hipster. No, but everybody says they have them even when they don't. So it's like, well, I mean, I don't this, think they're as common as people let on. But if this either place, way, you gotta. It could be like a spice, like or anything. I don't know, but you you gotta go check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, and the best thing, like I said, the the best way to do it is do an elimination diet for yeah. a, for a month. Just cut out. It sucks. It's a really boring month. You're gonna be eating a lot of like rice and grilled mm-hmm. chicken, but. So um, the, the only thing with that is, like, if you change your diet, like, even if you're eliminating one thing, if you're changing your diet, like, doing rice and chicken, that's objectively healthy, right? It's, like, it's very, like, bland on the stomach. So, like, even if you're not having dairy, you're also not having a bunch of other stuff. Well, that's that's the whole point of elimination diet is you cut everything out and then slowly reintroduce things. Oh, so you don't then, just stop doing one thing. You start no, no, doing you, you, nothing. You cut out, like, oh. you cut out, uh, like wheat, gluten, uh, soy, yeah. dairy... Uh, sugar, mm-hmm. like you cut out a bunch alcohol, you cut out a bunch of shit. Yeah, and one like yeah, my friend Alex actually had that before. Um, and what's fun, maybe, is it's going to be kind of a struggle to come up with good meals. Yeah, when you can't use mo- much I mean, shit. It's, so. it's a lot of salads. It's a lot of fucking mm-hmm. like stir fries. Well, we did um, we did a bunch of we because he was pretty sad when it all happened. So we did like a potluck and we made like little like uh, spinach like 
on sliders mm-hmm. um, and like didn't use various things and like a bunch of uh, like desserts where you don't really have any sugar or like dairy in them and yeah. it was it was actually kind of fun. And this thing, it's like uh, like the first week you're gonna be like, what the fuck can I eat? And then yeah. you'll suddenly realize that it's like it's not. Like, yeah. there are people who have these allergies in real life and mm-hmm. like everything do fine. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, yeah. And then once you do the month, every week, reintroduce a new thing. Mm-hmm. I would suggest starting with dairy, reintroduce dairy into your diet. And then if you're back to feeling like shit, problem solved. The next one I would do would be wheat mm. because those are, again, the two most common mm-hmm. things. And also, like, depending on what you eat normally anyway, like if you're always going out and just like you know, stuff and spicy curries down your gullet. Yeah. Like, it might be spice. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you have a better idea than us because you know your diet. But, uh, yeah, try sort it out. Uh, look at medicines. Bring something to cover your ass, literally. And, uh, like, just realize that they're also human, so they should probably get it to yeah, a certain and like, degree. And, and, and if don't they hide don't, it. Yeah. Like, literally tell them, like, oh, I'm just, I'm doing, like, a, a cleanse. And, like, even if you're wor- like, even if you're kind of embarrassed, like, Depending on how new this relationship is, you don't want to be like, oh, so I, I'm not going to shit all the time. Yeah. You can just be like, oh, a friend of mine is having health troubles and I'm, I'm doing it with them or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? Or like, even just be like, sorry, no my stomach's it. a little ill right now. Like, yeah. Again, like there's nothing better than not having to pretend. It's so yeah. great when you can just be like, yo, you I, got, I got diarrhea. Thing. Yeah. Or because, yeah, just be like, I don't know what it is. My stomach's just not the best right now. I'm sorry. People aren't really going to care. Yeah. And if they do, that's probably a good indication that you don't want to date them. That's true. You know? Um, um, I was so self-conscious about my stomach issues mm. for so long that I, like, for me, I would I would just be like, oh, I'm doing, like, a health kick where I'm, I'm like, getting my eating, you know what I mean? Mm. And, and, like, and also, like, you're going to feel great afterwards. Like, just, it just, I actually maintained a lot of those eating habits afterwards because I was just like, oh, I feel so good. Like, I don't feel like a bag of shit mm. all the time. Literally. Oh, yeah. Um, true. All right. We've, yeah, no, we've it, talked about poop long enough. Well, <laughs> let's move on to piss. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not joking. I know you're not. This is, I actually have too many piss questions today. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I've got a lot of questions about nudes. Nudes? Uh-huh. Hmm, i got a lot about piss. <laughs> okay. This is from Dating Advice Reddit, official as fuck, throwaway user. Wet the bed on a first date. Oh, no. I, 21-year-old female, have been texting this guy, 21-year-old male, for the past few weeks. Finally met up yesterday, had a lot to drink, and ended up wetting the bed. Never had it happen before, and have no clue what to say to him. Everything had been going great beforehand, and there was a lot of chemistry, so I'd like to salvage, if possible. I'm back home for hours now, just huddled up, and too embarrassed to do anything. How can I apologize or get past this? Oh boy. Um, so one of the first times I spent, or like a girl spent, uh, the night with me, she got her period Mm -hmm. and like got it all over my sheets. Mm -hmm. And she literally was just like, I'm taking these and I'm going to wash them. Um, and it was like, I was just like, I don't really care. Like it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I can understand how mortifying it is for them. You know what I mean? Like no matter how many times someone's like, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's Mm -hmm. cool. Like whatever. Like, there's still that, like, I mean, like, there are things when I was, like, in seventh grade that I remember doing stupid shit, and I still, like, like, oh, man, I'm such an idiot. You know I, I, mean? like, I I feel really bad about the period one, because I've had people do that before, and they're, like, so mortified. Yeah. It's like, it doesn't fucking matter. It's not your yeah. fault. Yeah. Um, I don't shit. Yeah, no one, no one fucking cares. If they do, they're an asshole. Um, also, warm water and salt. Wash that right out. Um, well, I don't know what the hell she did, but my sheets came back Probably warm fine. water and salt. Maybe. Um, but... That's different, I think. Yeah. Because that's just a thing that happens. That's a natural, yeah. And, you know, that's like, uh, whatever. It can happen. I think there's a lot more leeway. Uh, I would hate if this happened to me. So here's the thing. And it has did, never, thank fuck. Did she just, like, sneak out? That's the thing. I wish more context, right? Like, did like, she just wake up and be like, oh, shit. Uh, bye. Because if that's the case, you could have just rolled him over into him and, like, oh, you peed. I you peed the bed. legitimately read a story on Reddit ages ago about someone who did that, but they shit the bed, and they got up and rolled the guy over onto it, and mm-hmm. then they got him back in bed. Um, <laughs> if you want to be very evil, you do that. Yeah, no, there was a guy in college. Again, I don't know if it was a true story or not. thing but is, though, you wouldn't have piss all over your boxers or whatever. I mean, if you roll him face down, like, it's going to soak into it. <laughs> right? Like, it's... 
but I don't sleep, so you can't get me. Fair warning. Can't get me. Uh, yeah, in college there was a guy who was like, yeah, I totally like shit the bed literally last night. And he described himself as like wiping it on her oh, God. to like further the, and I was like, what? This oh, is the worst. This is the worst no. thing. Okay, let's first state of advice. Don't do that. Yeah. Uh, can you pretend you had a wet dream and squirt it? Yeah, man. Just tell Guys him. Just are tell him. Really confused about vaginas. He, tell he's him gonna last buy night that. that. Like, I mean, if you were both fucking hammered, just be like, "My God, that was the best sex I've yes. never squirted before." Yeah. And then when he wakes up and the just bed's still wet, be like. Hell yeah. He's going to yeah. think he was a fucking champion. He's going to like... I mean, to be fair, it's probably too late to do that now. <laughs> or is it? You were embarrassed to admit how good the sex was because you didn't want to give him a big ego, so you pretended you pissed yourself. Or just be like, I you, you unlock something in me, and I've literally been trying to make myself squirt again, and I cannot figure out how to do it. Your dick was you so wanted... big, it opened up every passageway in my body, and now I can't hold anything inside. Like, my tears are just falling out. Yeah. I'm my saliva is just mess. dripping out. I'm peeing without a second's warning. Don't even get me started on my brown river. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, this is hard to come back from. I don't know. I think it's just... not if you say it's a squirt. Pack your... Well, that was the golden idea. That's perfect. Yeah. But if you've already admitted it, pack your bags and move away. Yeah. Get a new city. <laughs> new identity. Commit. You know what you need to do? You need to find information on the local mob then you narc on them and then you get witness protection and they move you away oh, well, you're just going to say away. like sick the mob on this guy no make no make him no. disappear no you just have to find out something I mean, hey, why not drown him in your piss yeah sleep with the piss fishes <laughs> piss with the sleep fishes yeah um yeah just you gotta find out some juicy info tell the FBI get them to give you a new identity and then now you've another you could just make it up yeah, just lie, lie to the FBI. Yeah, lie to the FBI about the mob. Yes. So that you get witness protection. Mm-hmm. And then set the mob on them. Yeah. Yeah. And then just don't pee on your next date. I'm pretty sure this is a, the plot of like a Melissa McCarthy movie. Yeah, probably. <laughs> that actually be a, probably a good movie. I'm uh, TMing that one, boys and girls. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, You know what? What's the harm just being like, wow, super embarrassed, so sorry. And just see what he says. Well, here's like, the thing. Because worst case, he's You're not like, going to see him again if you just never talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. So, so worst case, what's the he, worst of you being like, hey, I'm really sorry that I pissed in your bed. I got fucking hammered yeah. last night. Like, just be and, like and hey. then he, if he's like, yeah, no, it's fucking disgusting. Please never talk to me again. Then boom. Then, then you're in the same fucking situation as if you just never talked to him exactly. ever again. And at least like that way, like, because the thing is, I doubt he's going to be that much of a dick. And if he is, you probably didn't want to date him anyway. I mean, I don't know if depending on how this was. If, if this you were was a literally like, stand, "Yeah, that was disgusting. I never want to talk to you again." I I'm mean, sure. Yeah. If but someone like, was like, "Yo, I pissed in your like, "Yeah, no, it's cool. Like, don't worry about it." I probably wouldn't see them again. Yeah, okay, that's um, fine. But I'd still be nice about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they're a dick, you've done yourself a favor. You don't have to worry about this. You should be like, "Yeah, I'm glad I pissed on his sheets." You know? Yeah. But yeah, it's just maybe like, just make it your life mission to piss you, on everything. The thing that is, you owns. don't know. Some people, when they get drunk, they pee the bed. That's just a thing. It's a thing some people do, and or, it's a curse. sometimes Maybe. when you get drunk, you pee in a suitcase. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. So we <laughs> were we were at an adult summer camp, and there was a guy who we found, like, passed out in the middle of a field, and we were like, oh, we're going to, like, at least take care of this guy. So we got him up. That was a bad idea. Got him back into our bunk. We didn't know where he belonged, but we had an empty bunk in our cabin, so we were like, well, fuck it, this guy is where he belongs. So we just kind of, like, tucked him in there, and then, like... 20, I don't know when it was, like, oh, a, a while later, we wake up to one of the girls screaming, and we're like, oh, fuck. Um, but no, he was literally just in the corner, who had, like, opened up one of the girls' suitcases and was literally just pissing in their suitcase. Also, he never really apologized to anybody and wasn't anything but super weird after, so don't do that. Yeah. So, yeah, don't piss in a suitcase. That's our advice. Let's move on. Yep. Keep this piss train flowing. This one is from Lily123 Kawhi. Sending my boyfriend did we, nudes. Did we do one of these before? From, from this user? I don't think so. I think we have. Maybe. Sending my boyfriend nudes never gets the response I want. So I send my boyfriend nudes quite often. But his reaction is either one word or nothing. Today, for example, I sent him a bunch and he just responded with, damn. And then 10 minutes later he said he was going to bed. <laughs> 
When I said something about Sex him bed. not seeming interested, he told me to stop being insecure about stupid little things. I don't really know what to do because I'd like a more enthusiastic response. But if I bring it up, he tells me that I'm wrong and for and stupid for feeling bad about it. Like, I trust see, I was like, I was like halfway. Yeah, I was halfway around. Uh, or like on a split on their side as, as to then, like yeah. you know what I mean like if he was just like damn like that's like, not bad I get right? it because like I don't know sometimes if I get a sexy picture it's like what do you yeah, what do like, you say like oh th- like, those are your titties yeah oh girl them buns is magnificent yeah. like you, you Dang, get it also girl. if you're dating you've probably already said all these things mm-hmm. so it's like to just be like you are so beautiful I like your body parts like you get it like oh holy shit or like, whoa. Yeah. I, I guess I might be like, wish you were here. Or like, That's the thing, I'm like, going to jerk it so hard right now. I'm going to have a cum. I'm going to have myself yeah. a cum to like, your flesh. Maybe just be like, fuck, I wish, you know, yeah. that was on my face right now. I wish now. you were here making me have a cum. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so like, I like I guess there there could be a little bit. But like, also, I don't know. I'm I'm very, very awkward. Uh, or I was we know. with that kind of shit. Because I was just like... Thank you. You know what I mean? Like, well, like yeah, I, I didn't really like, know what to there, say. There really isn't much to say. Yeah. You can basically be like, oh, holy shit, or like, damn. Or, or like, like, send one back. If, yeah. But like, but like, you're a guy, you don't have that much options. I know, it's just like, take a picture of your dick. And like, just like, I'm tensing, I guess. Oh, well, you sit in the toilet, and you get a boner, and yeah. you make the the dickly hallows. Yeah, you could do the dickly hallows. Yeah. Um, Classic move. No, I, I get it. Like, what what do you want? What do you want? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know. Like, I, I get I, it. Actually, but I'm pretty I do, sure I read the comments, and I'm pretty sure she was like, "I don't even know what I expect. Just something yeah. more." And, and I, I was like, "I do get yeah, it." But I, at the same time, like, put yourself in. Like, if he sent you one, what would you say? Would you be like, "Holy shit, that dick is so great"? Yeah, let me and gobble look. that up. But then the Just next the turkey one, turkey emoji. Gobble, oh gobble, yeah, gobble. yeah. <laughs> but then the next time you're like, "Oh my god, that dick! It is also still so great." Yeah. I also want to gobble it up. Then the third time it's like, "Oh shit." Don't know how it's happening. That dick's still great. Yeah. Oh my god, three in a row, boy. Three in a row. Fourth time. Oh my god, quadrilogy of that dick being amazing. Like, it. it Eighteenth yeah. time. <gasps> Holy Jesus! <laughs> Unless he is actually improving his dick every time. Mm, got them dick crunches. Yeah. Yeah. Or it's doing the thing. You know the like the thing with the rings going on their neck to extend their neck. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he's doing that with his dick. Is that racist? Is that racist? It's, I don't know. It's probably something. <laughs> um, that's great. That's awesome. You know they do it too, right? They gotta. Oh, they... Oh, they, 100%. They the ladies are doing their neck. The, the boys, <laughs> yeah. they're doing their dicks. Also, 100%. Like, There's no way some guy didn't look at that and be like... Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No oh, one's like, wait. your neck longer right You're there? making things longer? Let's start with the neck. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah. There's no way some guy was just like... Didn't, all, didn't look at someone's yeah. neck and just like... Hmm. And the the neck uh, neck stretching uh, pioneered by Jeffrey Longdick. Sorry, what? <laughs> don't don't. He's not the yeah. point of the story. Uh, oh, what are we even talking about? I don't know. Um, but oh yeah, but the it nudes. Was, I mm, so like I understand. Yeah, I I do feel like his point of view until he tells her to stop being insecure about stupid little things. Because well, like he's probably trying to be reassuring, even though that does come off pretty like crass. And, like, you know, I, sometimes when people are, like, really insecure about things that to you are baffling, yeah. you don't feel like going, like, oh, no, no. You'd be like, this is so silly. Just stop it. And you feel like by being so flippant and, like, not really regarding the issue as seriously, mm-hmm. you're getting across how they don't need to take it so seriously. Yeah. Which sometimes Which not so helpful. Which doesn't seem to be working. Yeah. yeah. Um, so or he's just a dick. I don't it, know. Yeah, it's I out don't of context know. with no tone. It's hard. But, like, I, I do also get where she's coming from because, like... You don't want to just get like a damn, yeah. Either, even though that's she probably what you give. She also says, "I send my boyfriend nudes quite often." That's another thing. It's so like, like what I'm saying is, how often are you sending them? Yeah, you because if it's just like, like every day or like several times a day, yeah. there's you're gonna hit a reservoir of like how many things you can like respond to mm-hmm. it. To eventually, it's just gonna be like also they're cool. gonna become less exciting. Really, yeah. If you get present every day, it's like oh cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, if, Great. if every morning Amanda, like, gave me a box with, like, a small little present mm-hmm. in it, 
I would start to expect it. Exactly. You know what right? I mean? Where like it, it wouldn't be a nice little treat. It wouldn't be like, mm-hmm. oh, babe, thanks so much. Yeah. It, it would be, be like, like, a, like, oh, cool. Be like, oh, cool, thank you. And then yeah. I would like open the box and like go, mm-hmm. you know, have my morning poop. Um, so it, it's kind of the same thing with like anything, really. Like if you oversaturate someone mm-hmm. with anything, um, you could save time if you open the box while you were pooping. So, I mean, that's, I, I think like you could sleep point, a, little, a little longer if you didn't do them like I, th- I think that's eventually what like would same. happen. I think but if you I did them at the same time, just you'd save time. You'd probably I think I'd just to be work like, "Oh, earlier. cool, Amanda, thanks." And I'd like take the box, I'd go into the mm-hmm. bathroom, and just yeah. kind of like, "Oh, it's another one of these." Yeah. And then I, I would like I, also if you said thanks while you were also on the bathroom, like you just speed things up. I would just start stuffing them in the back of the toilet as mm-hmm. well because I like I can't I can't eat all those little candies or like I don't have any room for any more of those toys. If you eat while you're on the toilet, saves time as well. Circle of life. <laughs> if you eat while you poop, so I don't know. Like you gotta, you gotta exp- like think about it from what one. You gotta know what you want, really. Yeah. And like sometimes it does suck to ask for what you want, but you could be like, I don't know. Like I just feel like you, like you just be like, look. When you just say something like "damn" or like one word, it doesn't really sound like you're super into them. And he can probably be like, no, but it is. And probably will be like, what do you want? And then you'll be like, I don't know. You yeah, know, like that's, I mean, like also if, if if that's the way he expresses himself, you can't expect him to express himself the way you would want him to. You know what I mean? Yeah, or like if you're trying to initiate like maybe a sexting thing, mm-hmm. or like maybe another picture in return, then ask for that. Ask for it. You know what I mean? Like send him a picture of you in lingerie and be like, "How badly do you want to take this off?" Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if you just send a picture of you in lingerie, just tits, it's like, cool, cool, damn, cool, damn. All right, like. He's not upset he's getting it, but you like... You know what? What he know. needs to do, he needs to go on Google, type in damn synonyms. Ooh, get on the forest.com. Exactly. Then every single time she sends one, girl, ask her, just go away from the podcast for a minute. Every time she sends you one, just pick another fucking word. Mm-hmm. Right? Like a fucking... We should market calendars where instead of like word of the day, it's response to a nude of the day at uh, 365. And we'll just be like, damn, shit, fiddlesticks, holy God, holy God, Christ, Jesus, mother of Mary. Nope. One month is just dang with more A's. <laughs> yeah, like dang. 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 One's yeah. like D A capital A, lower yeah. A capital dang. A. Dang. Uh, dang. Yeah. One's just like great cosmos. Holy Zeus. <laughs> Great googly moogly. <laughs> By the seventeenth episode of Fuck Buddies. Uh yeah, so I, I think I think that's that's yeah. that. Give me give me a question. Alright. Um I'm upset because there was nobody pissing in that one. I said I told you there's a lot of dudes. Sorry, we're we're pretty much done anyway. Um Hello. 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 My husband is repulsed by my aged urine rubs. He hates every single thing about it. I'm sorry. Hello. My husband is repulsed by my aged urine rubs. He hates every single thing about it. Even with the essential oils, he says he still smells it all over me, even to the point he doesn't want to touch me. Should I compromise by only drinking it and using it up the nose, ears, etc.? I'm sorry. I have literally tried everything to get rid of the smell. He even says the jars look like dead waste. Please, I need some help here. Hey, here's here's an idea. If you don't want to smell like piss, stop rubbing it on yourself. Stop drinking it and stop putting it in your fucking orifices. Uh, even with the essential oils, what more can you do? S- stop using it. Stop yeah. drinking piss. So today I found out there is a new trend of people who believe that aged urine is a gigantic health benefit. So here's the you thing. You rub it on your skin. Him saying, oh, it looks like drink dead it. waste. It is. It is. is. It is 100% what it looks like. That yes. is, you are correct, sir. He smell. He says I smell like piss. Yes, you you, you are piss. You do, yeah. You, you are, are piss. You're in and out. Your nose, you smell piss because your nose is full of piss. I don't... I don't even know if it's her piss. Is oh, it... I, I assume it's just like some like warehouse of just dudes pissing in boxes or like containers being like... Aged urine. Uh, one reply. If your spouse doesn't like the smell of piss all over your body, just leave him. Health is more important than the marriage. <laughs> well, guys, we had a good run. I was really hoping we would get to episode 40, uh, but I'm calling it. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I broke down. Um, what you going to do, man? Like, her health. Here's the thing. Versus her husband's sense of Here's, Okay, okay. You, you want to know the solution to this? Mm-hmm. It's going to take some work. 
You ready for it? Okay. You get on Squarespace and you make a website. Do we have our first sponsor? I wish. This is my pitch. Do you want to, Squarespace? Um, so talking you, about aged piss rubs here. So you get on Squarespace and you make a website mm-hmm. that is all about how aged urine rubs are actually the leading cause of like ovarian cancer. Mm-hmm. And then you, that if you want to get rid of that, you, you have smell to- smell good. Yeah, you have to like rub, I don't know, coconut blow butter- um, blowjobs. You've got rub blowjobs yeah. all over you. So you got to get coconut butter or something that you, vanilla extract. Or something you love, like blowjobs? Like blowjobs. Um, and that is the only way to sort of like undo the damage that these urine wipes have done. And then you get on Facebook, mm-hmm. you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars marketing and promoting these sites. Or you just site. send it to one of the women in her urine piss group. Uh, no, no, no. They, they don't believe... Sending. It's, they need to discover they, it organically. <laughs> Organic like their piss. Oh. Okay. You know what I mean? They so have to they let, have to come across it so that, you know, Sheila is like Okay, so you I you Belinda, let, you look let at Squarespace this. age. Yeah. You let your website age and then when it's all murky and maybe there's some kind of film on the top, you let them find the jar, unscrew your website, mm-hmm. smear it on their body, exactly. snort it, wash out their ears. <laughs> and then just drink it, and then they come home to you smelling like Squarespace. Not quite, but (laughs) close enough. Because you know why? An imaginary website that you can rub all over yourself is better than fucking urine. I think most things are. This is, like, I saw this, was like, okay, this has to be insane. Saw so many of the comments supporting it, and then I went, and I looked it up, and it's a thing. This is actually from Facebook. That explains a lot. Yeah. So I looked it up. It's a thing, though. It's a booming industry. What are we doing making a podcast? Do you know how much I pee? We could just sell. <laughs> do you know how much I pee? Yeah, you do. Just... You do know how much I pee. You pee a lot. I pee so much. We could get Bedwetter and us and just fucking have a whole industry. Oh, my God. Yeah, we just get her hammered. Maybe that's how it started. I mean, may- oh she rolled him God. over oh, and he was shit. like, my skin feels amazing. She was like, That's, "We were going back to that question. You just tell him. Oh, you didn't pee the bed. You, you just your did your nightly. Yeah, rub. you just did your nightly skin routine. Oh my god, yes. And then you link him to the millions of websites out there that'll tell him that aged piss is actually the yes. most healthy thing. Yeah, it for you know what? I know what it cures. Everything. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was gonna read out the list, but is it everything? It's everything. You know what? I want to laugh at this. I want to say it's not science, even though, like, let's be fair, I'm not a scientist. I'm a sex scientist, but I'm not a scientist. Uh, however, you ever seen Bear Grylls? Mm-hmm. He's climbing fucking mountains and jumping off cliffs and fighting fucking crocodiles, and he looks amazing while he's doing it. What does he drink? Almost exclusively. It's not exclusively. He drinks it in severe situations. Every, he talks about But he, the thing is, everything he does is a severe situation, Dane. What does he do? I'm sorry. I, I promise is, you these housewives do that are smearing shit all over themselves. <laughs> it's just piss. Let's not go too well, far. Well, let's see. Let's wait until they get a fucking mud mask. All right. Let's see what that's made out of. But I think it's, I think it's legit. Like, look at Bear Girls. It's proof in the pudding. There you go. <laughs> you can't even play with me on this one? No. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do this. Um, You know what you should do? Here's the thing. In this, you, no, in this question. In just this pee advice, on her. Be on her and just be like, is this is this what you want? It's not aged, Dane. God damn it. Aged in my balls. Well, you know what you do? Replace her fucking urine with apple like juice. perfume. Or like, oh, yeah. no, that's even worse. Yeah, you, but you hate apples, so. Um, or like, you know. Just replace it with like a lager. And then if you ever well, run out, you just. still beer's not much better. It's so much better, let's be fair. I mean, you're like I would drink combine, old beer, but combine I those drink two piss. things, and you've got like the hobo aesthetic of just like old urine and stale beer, like. Yeah. But like, yeah, just like, are you dating a hobo? You kn- <laughs> I think <laughs> she needs. Do you live on the back of a train? <laughs> her advice for her: uh, you should end the relationship. You need to. You need your health. More than is her purse a stick with a sack tied around the back? <laughs> but no, I, I do think uh, she should end the the marriage because she needs her health more now. Lady covered in pee, just walk away from the podcast for a second. We're gonna get you out, buddy. You need. We're here for you. We're fucking. We got your back so hard right we've, now. We've lied to the FBI for you. They're gonna get you a witness protection. Program. Yes. 
guys. <laughs> they think that you've uncovered the mob. There isn't even a mob where you're from. You're gonna have to make up a few mob secrets. Yes, you're gonna have to blow up like two people. It's also, fine. Also, Don't my worry. name is Tony now. Yeah. So, so bronze. Mm-hmm. Tony. Tony's so pissro. Tony. What's, what's the other? Pissoli. Alto. Tony Pissoli. <laughs> just, just roll with us on this one. Yeah. You can come back now. Um, yeah, just like your health. It's, it's important. So important. It's so, so important. Like, the thing is, like, you want your skin to weather away? Do you want your insides not to be scoured clean by that fresh, fresh old urine every day? I cannot wait until someone is like some pervert out there figures out the situ, like the correct way to get this in front of the right fucking like Jenny McCarthy or okay, I'm sorry, you don't Gwyneth think Paltrow perverts are already capitalizing on this shit? But I mean, like, how long until it's semen? It's probably already semen. It's all definitely there's someone out there yeah. buying old seam. There's maybe that's what they were actually doing with those condoms. James oh, McAvoy. Oh shit. James McAvoy. What have you done this time? You sick, sick bastard. <laughs> just pissing it. Just coming. Just giving, having a cum and selling it. Okay, let's go. Oh god damn it. I mean, do I keep on my theme? Why not? My 19 year old uh, female boyfriend, 19 year old male. Wait, what? I know it's it's a weird way. To I, do I really it. yeah. I, so sorry the way you read it. So she's confused. she's yeah, a nineteen year old female. She's dating a nineteen year old male. Asked for my new pictures and then ends up deleting them. Basically, I took some new pictures on my boyfriend's phone because he asked for them. But I'm quite insecure, so this only happened once. Um, and how I knew he deleted them was we were play fighting because he took a bad pic of me and I was trying to delete it from the recently deleted folders where I found my nude pictures. I didn't say anything. So he doesn't even know that I saw it, but it kind of stung because of me not being very comfortable in on my own skin. Uh, and then finding them deleted makes me feel like he didn't find me very attractive. He asked for some again, so I don't know how to feel about it. Should I talk to him? Uh, am I overthinking it? Has this happened to anyone else? Is this person fucking crazy? Maybe he just doesn't want his friends to fucking see your nudes or like, his fucking young cousin playing with his phone yeah. or like he's worried that your nudes will get out somehow or that you'll be upset that he still has them and so he's deleted them because he's nice yeah I'm that that's sort of like my situation is like either his parents has access mm-hmm. to his phone or like I don't it's know like, he doesn't want his friends swiping it, through exactly. his photos it, it's and sensitive material and it's valuable and it's important to you so he's being careful with it yeah it's not that he doesn't want to see it but yeah, no one asked for nudes. And Unless then, and you just took the worst nudes. I've gotten Unless some it's real just like, bad nudes It's just before. like the fucking like close up of just like one, one of hair. like the lips. Just one hair on one yeah. lip. The one remaining And you're just hair. sort of like tugging that one pubic hair that yeah. you've left grow for. Yeah, and it's thick. Your puberty. It's thick. It's like a black worm. Ooh. <laughs> Did you take it of your vagina while you were sitting on the toilet? Yeah. Is it the clitly I mean, hollows? The half clit prints? No. Oh, okay. Oh. The, I was trying to come up with another Harry Potter the order of the vaginix <laughs> um yeah no i think he's just trying to do right by you yeah this sounds like he's trying to like cover everyone's tracks like his tracks for having nudes mm-hmm. in his phone your tracks for having nudes in his phone yeah like i think i think it's one of those things where like they're just they're just looking after you yeah, also especially like, like if you keep sending them to him is he just gonna have hundreds of nudes of you on his phone like yeah. what if he loses his phone also what if you break up like yeah. isn't that a reassuring thing being like oh he's using my nudes mm-hmm. or maybe he's put them on his like computer yeah maybe he's you know just saved maybe them he's, elsewhere and he's like maybe, maybe he's got them on a more secure fucking like encrypted hard yeah. drive somewhere he's got but... one of those chips embedded into his arm and he got them all there yeah maybe he's, he's got just scan Google his dick Glass. and he won't see them but don't, his dick knows is Google Glass still a thing? Did it ever come out? I don't know if it ever... I don't know. I think like you Maybe can, he's just... Is he wearing stupid glasses? I think you can do the, you, the new Garfield Eats thing on Google Glass. I'm not joking. I know you're not. I'm going to look it up right now. Let's uh, go order some pizza. All right, hit me with one more question. What? Are you do- done, we done with that one? Yeah. No, like... Don't be silly. More piss? Do you have another piss question? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, hit me. No, I don't. I don't. No. Oh. This is from the seduction so right? Oh, God damn it. Oh, motherfucker! <sighs> it's deleted. It just came out yesterday. Screenshot it. I thought it was... Oh, I screenshot the piss one. Um, This was police. And I quote, You harass girls. Got a fine of $100 and a criminal record. And it was someone being bitter about how they went to uh, a bar to implement some of the tips and tricks. 
uh, they picked up on the seduction subreddit and were consequently arrested, fined 100 euro, now have a criminal record, and they're like, what's wrong with police? Why don't they like guys getting girls? That's amazing. Yeah. That's, uh, pretty I, sure... I don't have advice for it. I'm you just, just done fucked up. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for doing your job, police. And yeah, everyone's so upset about them. It's like, no, like, I, I, I have seen the way men treat women in public, and that's pretty generally terrible. So if you were worse than that, to the point that you got arrested, I don't think they were doing it lightly. Yeah, no. I mean, like, yeah, there's fucking... So in Toronto, like a, there's a street called King Street. Kicked them out, and then they continued doing what they were doing inside after being removed by a bouncer and got arrested by a second party of police who were not involved with the first issue. Yeah, I mean, like, cops drive down our, like, party street, which is, like, King Street, mm-hmm. all the time. Do you think that they don't see assholes catcalling women all the time? No. And, and none of them get arrested? No. So to do something... Enough for a cop to be like, oh, God damn it. Yeah. Like, Pull over, get they out, don't, and arrest you? They don't want to do that. They don't give a shit. And you made them give a shit because you're yeah. so bad. I, I honestly wish this happened more. Oh, yeah. I well, wish that, like, cops would literally just, like, get off their fucking horse or their car and, and just, like, hey, hey, $100 fine. Why? Because you just verbally assaulted that woman. That's why. It can be $100. My girlfriend is trying to look like Amelia Clark slash Daenerys, and her obsession is pissing me off by James Wan, 1987. It's gotten to a point where we have struggled to keep up what we're in two months in a row, because she hasn't been able to come up with her portion, because she's chained herself to look like Daenerys, despite all being fake. This has been going on for three months. We're both super busy students, not much, to, not much time to hang out. All she does is talk about Game of Thrones. Not the quality of writing, etc. Just Amelia Clark, sightings, and sometimes other cast members. Cool. Some people have favorite celebrities. Except I can barely talk to her. We used to snuggle in bed and talk for 20 minutes before sleeping. Now we're both busy, tired students, so it means a lot. But every time she just wants to be on her phone looking at Game of Thrones slash Free Folk subreddits, what the cast is doing, mainly Amelia. It's worse. She's killed off half of her hair going full blonde to look like her. Bleaching costs a lot, apparently. I had to cover her portion of rent one month with what little I had to be evicted. So she got microblading done to make her eyebrows like Amelia's. Guess who was short on rent again and guess what to spot her? Yup. Promised to pay me back, but with her tuition and the drinking, no money. For the third month in a row, she asked for money, said she needs money for textbooks. I find out she spent 450 on super long blonde extensions because all the bleach she used to go blonde killed her hair. Like how I was like, do you have a quick one? And yeah. Then you read I... a novel of, it's so easy to solve this. Dress up like Jon Snow and stab her. <laughs> a fucking spoiler warning. Oh, whatever. Jesus. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's Bug Wild. Also, I think she's faking being obsessed with Amelia Clark to get free rent. Um, here's what you do. She doesn't care about Amelia Clark. Buy a dragon mask Fuck and her. start pretending you're now Drogon. Ooh, dra- and then constantly require attention from her. Buy a dragon mask, get a little metal chair, and put it on the microwave and just go <laughs> and put it on high. Burn the house down. Yeah. Then you won't pay rent. Oh my god, we're amazing. Tell her if she loves Amelia Clark so much and Daenerys specifically. She'd get a job. <laughs> uh, no, go, go, be like, hey, go kill a bunch of people. Go, go kill. To be fair, she does sound mad. She's got that down. I mean, she's she's heading there, yeah. Yeah. Um, kill her best friend, see what she does. Oh, yeah, yeah. Has she forgotten about the Iron Fleet for no reason? Yeah. <laughs> Ask her that. Ask her real quick why she forgot about the Iron Fleet for no reason. Uh, yeah, no, that's insane. This is not This is not healthy. You need to get her to chat to a professional. Uh, you need to stop paying her rent because that's insane. Yeah, it might be time to find a new place Yeah, you by can- yourself and just be like, look, I can't afford to pay for all your things. Yeah. Uh, and if you're going to choose to like, like get- I dated you. I dated Samantha, not Amelia Clark or when some did, like. When did you date Samantha? One horrible sort of like terrifying like half haired like robot lady. yeah like i i don't know like it's it's very easy for you to be like yo the the woman i dated was who you were prior to mm-hmm. trying to turn into amelia clark like i don't want to date amelia clark i want to date you and if you're not you anymore then like maybe we should reevaluate this relationship and be like i i'm not dating the person i started this relationship mm-hmm. with anymore yeah. you're Just- you're literally changing into someone else who has an obsession with, like, someone that doesn't mean anything to them. Yeah. You need to uh, go up to her and say, Game of Thrones is over, and we should be too. 
You need to go and say, you go, dun, 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 and you just march off into the distance. Yeah. Dun, dun, bye, 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 bye. Oh, you know you do. Bye, bye. You, you get on a white owe horse. Me so much money. You owe me so much money. You owe me some money for three months rent. It's beautiful. Get on a horse that means nothing uh-huh. to the plot or character. Yeah. And just ride and off. Then and take it down time, to the old town road. <laughs> and then the next time she sees you, just don't mention the horse at all. Yeah, make that never be a thing. Um, or just be Brandon and don't do shit. And then... Oh, yes. That's... This is how we do it. This is how we solve stuff. things. You fake an accident. You become... Get a wheelchair. Spend your month's rent on wheelchairs. No, yeah. And then... See, every time she talks about Amelia Clark, just respond with something really cryptic and creepy yes. and be like... Look at her and go, I'm going to go now. Yeah. And then just stare off into space. Yeah. And like anytime, anytime she mentions Amelia Clark, be like, just, just say, yeah. Uh, just be like, the time for her has passed. <laughs> and just, st- <laughs> just stare. Yeah. And then when she eventually gets really angry and tries to confront you, just have Arya jump out of nowhere and stab her. Yeah. Hopefully you're all caught up to Game of Thrones. Well, you are now. <laughs> no, but like 100%. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like at this point, if you watch Game of Thrones... Well, like, if, if you, you have a fucking it, internet... Like, everybody ruined it the second day. Like, yeah. it's impossible at this point. I, this is so bad. You you can't pay someone else's rent just indefinitely. Three months is a long fucking time. One is bad enough. It's one so thing really, if, like... like that, that's oppressing. If she got hurt and couldn't work. And, yeah. You know what I mean? It's and one you thing agreed to, that yeah. between each other. But if she's just like, mm, saucers, hair yeah. stuff... I, I'd rather have That's hair. not important. No, she's, she's, she's taking advantage of you. And, yeah. And it sucks. And, like... The th- the thing is, is like, I'm extrapolating from the information that we have right now, but like, this is going to end poorly because it's going to be one of those things where like, she's going to turn this around and she's going to like, probably make some drastic threats or like, like if you try to address this situation as seriously as it needs to be addressed, it's, it's going to blow up into a fight of like, you don't respect me. This is my body. I'm allowed to do whatever mm-hmm. I want. And like, and then, that's fine. But she can't use your money. Like the thing yeah. is, and your life is gonna like you can't go. You can't lose your place, and you can't lose all your money. Like those are things you need to Especially live. She's a student. Yeah, like, like you need those to live. I'm sure it's not an insignificant amount you're giving. Especially well, it doesn't sound like four hundred fifty dollars like, on yeah, threading or some yeah, bullshit. Right? Three months in a row. Yeah, like you need to look out for yourself and like one month, whatever. Sure, that's still you know three is insane. You need to go to her and say yeah. like forget the other shit for now. Like, that doesn't have to be the main issue. She can do what she wants, but she needs to, to do it with her money and in her yeah, time. Yeah, if she, if she wants to but spend four like, bucks, but, like, yeah. yeah, it's not your responsibility to pay for her fucking neurosis. Yeah. You just need to be like, I need that money back. I cannot cover you anymore. And, like, like if she can't pay it all at once, you need to start a literal plan where you're like, cool, you're giving me $50 every week. Yeah. Or, because Or, like, again, I don't like ultimatums, but one of those things... Get the fuck out of there. Where, because... where you're just like, look, if you can't pay rent, I need to find a place that I can afford on my own yeah. because I can't pay both shares of rent. No, you can't it's just, it, And, like, if she wants to make it about... Like, don't make this about Amelia Clark. Yeah. Fuck it. She's, it doesn't like, matter. Again, she it's her she body. Wants. She can do whatever she wants. Yeah. But, like, if, if you need to live and have a, a place in which you can live, mm-hmm. you can't do that while you fucking take care of a child who's playing dress up. What if you message Amelia Clark and get her to tell her to fucking stop? Start a Twitter war between her and Amelia Clark. There's only one way. Or, or, you, you get on Squarespace. You make a fake Amelia Clark website about how much she hates whatever her girlfriend, whatever your girlfriend loves. Does she love cats? Make a whole thing about how Amelia Clark eats cats. Make a thing about how Amelia Clark hates people that don't pay rent. Yeah. Or eats cats. Or... I really want to make this thing where Amelia Clark eats cats. She does. It's not funny when it's real. Well, whatever. Whatever this person likes. What does she like? No, but, like, Amelia does eat cats, is what I'm saying. Like, it's not funny if it's just a real thing. That's I like guess. me being like, oh, it's real funny that James McAvoy just does a come and sells it on Amazon. <laughs> it's hilarious that James McAvoy comes in a box and hides it in dorm rooms. Yeah, like, those aren't funny things because they're true. Okay, here's how you get your money back. Amelia Clark really likes aged piss rubs you happen to have a supplier piss in a jar sell it to her or you look more like amelia clark than she does oh, yeah double down get into an amelia clark off oh clark off 2019 this day this week this year whoever looks more like amelia clark pays rent for the year yeah oh, I no love it. doesn't pay rent 
Yeah. <laughs> or whoever looks more like Amelia Clark plays rent for the year. Yeah. And then you just go, oh shit. Just I'm, be a, like, just, I'm a big boy. Just be like, shit. Are you, you are you Amelia Clark? Mm. <gasps> you must you call must her have, Amelia. You have so much money. Mm. You can, you have rent this month, Amelia? Yeah. You got it. Like the Game of Thrones money? Oh, you got it covered. The Terminator P. money? Yeah. Get in there. That other thing she might have been in, I probably nothing else. I don't else. think no. she was in anything else. We did it. We we've given you so many. We've options been nailing here. it with advice today. Yeah. Like I don't know. So man. you have you have a bunch of options. You can you can blackmail. You're Amelia welcome, Clark. FBI. You can pretend to be Bran. You can stab her. You can do you all. Can, all <laughs> three. I just want to say, don't stab her. Don't. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Take take some things. Take most things we say as a joke. Just a heads up. <laughs> um. Definitely kill her best friend. Yeah, and still microwave that steel chair. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah, you. We're we're done. Thank you, Josh Eagle and the Harvest Cities. You're my boy blue. For what? For song Paper Stars. Um also thank you for listening. This is episode yeah, thanks, Josh. thirty seven. I don't know if you know anymore. I'm almost positive it is. Thank you very much for listening. You're um welcome. if you have a question, you can find us on uh Facebook at FCK Buddies at po- or no at podcast dot com. Um you can find us on Facebook at uh F- FCK Buddies Podcast, I think. Man, I'm all turned around You now. can listen to one of our previous episodes where we tell you how to find us. Yeah. Um, you can uh, hit us up on Twitter at FCK underscore buddies, or you can email us at FBuddies at podcast. No, God damn. Why do I keep wanting to say podcast.com? I don't know. Uh, FBuddiespodcast at gmail.com. You can also reach us at um, piss is bad for your health at squarespace.com. <laughs> do you have some, some things? You know I do. Okay. Well, I just go. Well, I just read them in order so I don't. Yes. Okay, well, this is The Motherland by William Nicholson. Ugh. Also, I saw someone on the fucking subway reading one of the bad sex writing books the other nice. day, and I was like... <laughs> it was amazing. Okay. Comfy? Mm-hmm. Are you comfy, listener? So are we going to do it now, Lawrence? Yes, he whispers. Yes. Doesn't the Catholic Church say it's wrong? Yes, he says. Fucking me is wrong. Yes. But you want to fuck me even so, Lawrence? Yes, he groans, feeling the tip of his cock pushing into her a little way. If you fuck me, will God punish you, Lawrence? I don't care, he says. God won't punish you, she says. If you love me. That's some hardcore manipulation right there. I love you, Nell. I love you. I love you. He feels the intensity of his love for her with each repetition, along with the tingling in his cock and the profound shock of joy with which he has heard each utterance by her of the word fuck. She seems to know how much this electrifies him. She moves her hips, pushing him deeper into her all the time. And as she does so, she whispers, Fuck me now, Lawrence. Fuck me now. Lawrence. (laughs) Lawrence. Lawrence. Will God punish you if you touch my buttocks? Lawrence, you're doing a good job, Lawrence. He won't if you love me, Lawrence. Lawrence. I really enjoy people saying my name during sex, but like... Only if they do it like 97 times in a row. That's obnoxious. This is... Yeah, no. Lawrence. I, it's like when you're also, fucking... I also heard, like, saying this... Like, imagine every time you're about to have say, Are we going to fuck now, Lawrence? <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we're naked and I'm on top of you. But doesn't the Catholic Church say it's wrong, Lawrence? Lawrence, are you going to put your penis inside my vagina? Name yes. other religions. Yes, which, that's how it works. Name other religions which disagree with premarital sex, Lawrence. Lawrence, how much do you know about religion? Lawrence, do you think you will be smoked upon... Lawrence? Mm. Lawrence, when you fuck me, is it going to be in and out? Side to side? How are you going to do it, Lawrence? Will you stir me like a warm pot of soup, Lawrence? <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> Lawrence, is Jesus watching us fuck, Lawrence? Lawrence, from which corner of the room do you think he watches, Lawrence? <laughs> oh, from the top of the roof, Lawrence. Can he see through walls, Lawrence? Lawrence, if he can see through walls, would he not just see right through the earth and then miss us fucking, Lawrence? Lawrence, when you finish, are you going to ejaculate? <laughs> Lawrence? <laughs> Lawrence, fill up me. Fill me up, Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah, no. Fuck this person named Lawrence. That's what she did. Yep. All right. And last but not least, a little Dan. Uh, sadly, he's still going. Um, and right now he's figured out the four reasons why good-looking guys rarely get the girl they want. I bet it's all about him. I bet he is the good-looking guy. And the girl he wants is his ex. Is his ex. <laughs> uh, my name is Dane Miller, and I am Niall, and I'm Lawrence, the podcast master, Spain. Uh, we're your folk buddies. Yeah, 
And I'm Lawrence. Listen to our podcast, Lawrence. 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 Lawrence, will you rate and subscribe? Lawrence. Lawrence. Lawrence, will you send us bags of money, Lawrence? <laughs>